Okay. <coughs> What's up, everybody? My name is Richard Terrell. I go by Kirby Kid, and you are watching Dio Live, a daily stream show in which we talk about game design. And sometimes we play games for the first time. And today, we're going to be playing Bomb Chicken by Night Trome. So, uh, I talked about Leap Day before on this stream and how good of a platformer it is and how much I liked it. Uh, so it's made by the same people. I'm going to see how good this game is. So we're just going to hit the button and stop playing Splatoon for once in my life. And uh, just see what it has to offer. <laughs> Almost every game has that loading warning just like that. Uh, I'm not sure what to think about it. I, I don't know how many times save files are actually corrupted or how often people actually turn their game off for whatever reason. This is a lot of loading. Normally I turn the music down a little bit for the stream. I can't jump. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Interesting. <coughs> Let me just hit this button real quick. And uh, jump into this. Okay. Hello, friend. Can I kill you? Oh. Okay. Should I kill my friends? I have no idea. Oh, you don't explode if it hits the wall next to you? I guess you don't get hit at all for hitting them into the wall. That's convenient. Or you do. If you're just too close, I guess you just can't be that close, period. I'm not sure why I'm cooking my friends. I'm not sure why I determined that chickens were also my friends. Jumping on enemies kills them. Confirmed. Surprised they let you lose all your lives in this training area. 
That's all right. Just trying to play around and have fun. I'm gonna kill all the chickens now. Ah, items don't persist on the screen transition. I should have paid more attention to that before. Ah, there's five of those. Do I have a limit to how many bombs I can have up? And I can only lay bombs when I'm on the ground. Oh. Oh, those are just five packs. Uh. <laughs> Blue chicken. All right, welcome. Lay an offering and we shall be rewarded. Okay. So a midway checkpoint, you can get your health back if you cash in some of your blue orbs. Dangerous. Okay. Oops. Ah, 
Okay, I need to stop that. That was close. Nice and lenient right there. Oh, can I jump on these bats? Nice bouncy jump. No! Yeah, this gameplay is so linear and tight that you can't really play around much for fear of being exploded. Suck it. Is I supposed to go down through that platform? I don't think... No! Does this mean I can go back? Did I just increase my max run speed? Watch out. Maybe I can hold it? No? No? Watch out, chicken! No, chicken! Get out of the way, chicken! That was close. Oh, you can move faster by bomb walking off your own bombs. It's pretty cool. Oh no. They give you multiple buttons to um, lay bombs so you can do it pretty quickly. Did I get crushed? Did I just touch the bottom of that? Hmm. Not good.
Okay. automatically get sucked into those pipes you do I thought I could walk on top of them that's interesting He was still on the right side, and I saw him load back in on top of the pyramid. So I gotta take my lessons that I learned and... And basically do this. So the, it's not quantified, like the bombs don't snap into the grid, but it clearly has a grid. It's one, I want to kind of see if one's enough to get over that, but I think it is, because I can do that. Yeah, there we go. Quit eating chicken! Every button lays bombs. Not just the shoulder buttons, but the face buttons. Yeah, I don't like it when games have like collectibles and then you can accidentally or easily just like zip over to the next area and be like, nah, now nah, I do a whole level just to get back there. I'm holding to the right. Is there something preventing me from going to the right here? What? What? What's preventing me from going to the right? Is it because I put the bombs too close to the wall? What is that? Why is there a hole there? What's going on? What was that? Did I have the mini jump? Did they like forget to do the graphics or something? Not cool. This game's so simple, how could you let something like that slip by? Like what what is it what is this? What is that? Am I like on top of the should it should I only do like one bomb to get up? You can't. You have to make sure it's far away from the walking point. This is what I mean by like the problems of not quantifying. What what is that? Why did I fall through? What, what? Right there, I fell through before. What is that? Am I am I is this switch controller slightly holding down and pushing me down through platforms because this controller is a piece of trash? 
If so, then you need to make your game just like Mario, um, New Super Mario Brothers, where you have to press down cleanly after letting go forward to go down. You don't just make it to where you can slap down and fall through freaking platforms. But whatever. Let's be very careful. Ah, not fun. Out the whole light. Why did he fall through? Why? Why'd you fall through? Do you have to like do three without rapidly tapping it so that it lines up properly? Because if you do it too fast, it like disaligns you. What is that about? Not happy. This is like when you only have one kind of playtester and they do this thing exactly how you think they should, all slow and deliberately. Like that's not how people play games. They mash buttons. They do things on unexpected timings. I expect you to play test that out. Very dangerous. That's the other problem with not having things quantified. You're like, that looked like a big enough gap for the chicken to squeeze through, but it wasn't. Are you collecting your collectibles like this? It's a tricky balance. What if I just lay him straight like this? Will that do the trick? No? That was close. Interesting. So close. That little drop off in the platform is extremely slow. I'm not sure why it's that cartoony. Using bombs to open chests without having the chest like explode open looks weird. Like that bomb isn't a key. <laughs> Like, I'm supposed to blow it open instead of like, oh, I unlocked it using an explosion. Makes sense. <sighs> then games like this, when they're so strict, oftentimes have wait a lot of waiting like this. So you're like, oh, it's so straight. Oh, shoot. That you have to kind of wait for your opportunity a lot. N nice tuning right there. Very easy to fall straight down the middle. 
You always wonder if you're gonna have too much momentum or something crazy like that. 80, this is crazy. So they're taking the blue juice and putting it on fried chicken. You can have as many bombs as you can press the button. Oh, this this is the ceiling? I couldn't see that that was the ceiling? I barely survived that. What the heck? I thought that was the screen was scrolling up, it was dark, I was like, okay. Oh, I need to get out of here. Not again. Oh! Okay. Did not do that properly, but I'm out of here. Oh, so you can't go down through platforms, and how how was I doing that? What? Oh, I forgot. Oh, come on. Uh, all right. I like Drill Dozer and Bangala Spirits had stuff like this too where you're like exploding the environment. That's cool. Get out. This is uh, Wario or Mario World and Mario Bros. 2 style stuff right here. And that's Bomberman style stuff right there. Okay, I hit the button four times, but thanks. Uh. Probably not the best way to do that. I was gonna go through the spike. It kind of looked like it went through the spike before. Ah, uh, whatever. That's what I was trying to do before, but I didn't line it up properly.
Is that a place I've already been? Mm, probably. Oh, that's the place I came up and around. Okay. Playing video games. cut myself. I guess they put tons of secrets in this this game, little pocket areas. I don't know. I like the chain reaction. Chain reactions are so interesting. Okay, I'm not sure. Those were two secret areas? Okay. Is he, is he playing another Nitro game? He's swiping left and right and tapping. I'm not sure what that could be. Bomberman was really clear about the uh, hitboxes of the explosions. These are a little bit more conservative. Oh, I need two key cards, huh? Introducing the elements of non-linearity. A lot of very visually busy platformers and side scrollers like this like to highlight your character in a, uh, a ring. Oops. Wow, this game has just like a lot of levels that go back to back. Doesn't seem to have a very good flow. Okay. Where it's just like, it's just more and more stuff. Kind of like it was a mobile game where it's like, just do lots of little things over and over. Oh. That was close. I couldn't see exactly how far it went, but I should have known. Sometimes you're like, when the game is really linear like this, you just kind of want to push it, and then it just usually doesn't work out. Like this, I can do that, and this, that's pretty cool optimization. Take it nice and easy. Oh, 
Watch out, chickens! I'm, see, I would jump and touch that, but I'm pretty sure it'll kill me. Or I don't want it to kill me. And just don't get to play around. Not when you're a chicken. So this game really feels, uh, so far, it's like just by the numbers. You know, not a lot of elements, not a lot of things you can do, so they make the challenges really strict, and then you just add fairly non-meaningful non-linearity. Just like, I like collecting stuff too, but, you know. Oh! That sound. Okay. Ah. It's kind of weird. You go straight into this different sort of level theme without um. Ah. You go straight into this level thing without um. Any kind of meaningful transition. Or set up. Oh cool, they get blocked by bombs. Neat. And this is wooden. I should have known. They make some good controls though in the Nitro. You never feel like you're gonna like Oh, so you can't kill them until they decide to come out of the grass. That's cool. Next time give them an animation that looks like they're attacking as they come out of the ground, and then I won't be complaining. So what what's that sound effect? Kind of in, that's kind of neat how they keep coming. I knew I should have gone left first. I hate I hate it when games do that too. We're like, oh look, it's not linear. You know, like you know you have to do both, right? Because they're not presenting one as a secret. It's pretty obvious. And then like you pick the wrong one, you're like, ah, oh, if I just picked the other one, I wouldn't have had to backtrack. And they don't make the backtracking interesting for any reason. I gotta write this down. Sorry guys. This is kind of what you get with the, like, so far most of the stuff is pretty polished, but it's still pretty by the numbers. Uh, kind of like, oh, take idea, add the variation, now do the variation. You're like, oh, okay, I get it. You're making a game. Um, design issues. I think I already had something like this for level design, uh, but... Let me just scroll through. I love designs. I love design. Spawning surprise enemy attacks. When spawning a checkpoint, lots of restricted paths by using the whole lot of hazards. Oh, yeah. One tile brick platform and maneuvering. Walking through walls that look solid but are hidden passageways. A collection of uh, what? Permutative level designs, electric functions, it's not a handcrafted, it's just, you know, whatever. Not knowing if there's a path as a secret or the main path, and you pick which one makes the other one difficult or possible to return to. I think, um, Bomb Chicken did this, but the new one is presenting the player with a, a choice where they're not equal and you make an uninformed choice just because. Let me see. Okay, we'll add this one. Level design. Presenting. It's basically bad non-linearity, but presenting the player with a non-linear uh, exploration 
slash pathing choice where taking one path is better and the player cannot make an informed decision. Bomb chicken. That's good enough for me. I will say level nine, just for a cool example. What is this chicken doing with the key card? Stop him. He can't. What am I gonna do for food today? So this is interesting. These little in-between sections, I guess if you need the health, you... I don't even know if these blue hearts mean like you can take more hits before game overing. I'm not even sure why I'm doing it, but... Okay. I was like, let me guess, you can't blow them up until they're exposed. They're at least doing a- oh, no! Good job of introducing the enemies uh, in a safe way. Oh cool, reflectors. Classic puzzle stuff. Quit playing video games. Get reflected on. Oh! I almost got myself reflected on. Nice. That was pretty good. This looks like it could be a secret, but this not. Yeah, that's weird. I couldn't lay bombs right there. So if I do it too fast, one, two, three. Oops. I'll try it again. If I go one, two, three too fast, I need a three. No, four? Huh. It's got some weird collision issues. Oh. Whatever. I can't lay bombs. And then I fell off when I walked to the side. That's not good. Oh no! I won't be able to kill this guy so easily. <laughs> that pipe uh, transfer animation looked pretty pretty bad. That's cool. These things are glowing. Oh, this is great. They're glowing when they can hurt you. And then they black when they're not so I was perfectly safe right there nice more games need to do this more games need to do that we're gonna add that to the positive feedback column and the under design awards um, let's see what is this more about it's more like it's feedback but it's like yeah it's just feedback um, dangerous Hazardous. Hurt. Okay, so I don't think I have one for this. Color change or shading on hazard to denote it is no longer um, dangerous to player. Or in the background, or in the background, really. Yeah, I'm not gonna play. The background part's not important. I'm gonna put bomb chicken. Chicken, uh, what are these things? Uh, flower spitters. That's right. 
Man, that's so cool, you can just knock him aside. That was close. This is perfectly measured. That was not a good idea. Whoa, I don't know what happened there. Just a little bit more sophisticated than your standard setup. What you plan? So in the, the, the role the enemies play in this game so far is just really weird. Obviously the environment and your own bombs are more dangerous, but like, I wonder why they're here. I mean, story-wise, they're eating us. A panda bear is getting punched in Tekken. Oh, come on! Not again! So annoying. Ooh, secret. Ah! About to blow myself up. How do I get that secret? Okay. That's pretty cool. Dang it! Oh, come on. Uh. So I know you can't rapidly hit the button, but man, I'm I'm mistiming it now. See, that's how fast I should be going. How do I drop the bomb where I want it to be? I 
I just need one bomb, right? That's pretty sophisticated. Oh my gosh. It's hard to get over that gap, let's see. Oh, come on. <sighs> Faster. doing this can I just bomb up and make that distance I don't think so bottle up bottle up walk up walk no okay oh come on that was not within the range Hopefully there's nothing directly vertical that'll kill me. Oh, almost. The camera wasn't being helpful right there, and I tried to use the uh, right stick to see if I could see better. Could not. That's all right. Oh, there's a cracked brick. I just see it now. Oh, I'm going back in. Don't kill me. Oh, no. Well, I'm done playing this for now. This game looks like it's going to be just all right. There's a couple of rooms in this, this from what I played, that were kind of interesting. Uh, more challenging, more timer oriented. Delayed timers are neat. Blocking things with interplay is neat. All the same cool stuff that we've been talking about for years. Um, but the overall package in this game, like, the enemies are worse than, you know, Bomberman enemies from Bomberman GB that I used to play when I was a kid. Um, they're just. You consider like Bomberman is top down, so you can like put bombs all over the place and chain react and chase enemies. And this, all the enemies are like on ground level in the way of your bombs that you have to use to move around anyway, so it's not the same. Um, yeah, it's more, it reminds me a lot of Mighty Flip Champs where you don't have a jump, uh, you have to navigate around, and even moving around the space can kill you. In Flip Champs, you can flip a page on yourself and kill yourself. So you're always like looking a little bit ahead and kind of fitting yourself into small squares, size gaps, and 
kind of solving puzzles or timing challenges and basic things like that. So interesting, but not super fun. So that's that's all there is uh, for this game for today. I also bought Iconoclast, so I'll be playing both of these. Um, the less I play this one on air, the more I'll just play the other one. Shouldn't be too big of a problem. All right, guys. It's just a first look, first impressions, uh, controls. There's some weird hitbox alignment issues. There's some weird, slightly weird feedback things with the bomb sizes and proximity to yourself. And if you if you punch it into a wall, it's a much smaller explosion than if you stand next to it. Like just things like that. It seems. It seems. Um, you don't go down through platforms, so you're always there's a little bit of asymmetry between going up in this game and down, and you can easily pump yourself up, but you have to fall down, and when you pump yourself up, things explode. Things like that are kind of interesting. Um, kind of reminds me a little bit of Warrior Woods, and where you like, as a toad, could take a stack and like put yourself uh, on top of it, and weird things like that. But otherwise. Oh, I can just like go back in the levels and blue means I got all the blues and green means I didn't or something like that. Huh. Let's see how many levels this game has. Okay. 29. $15. Alright. Until next time, guys.